Hi everybody, it's PJ and we're going to do um, a makeup tutorial with the new Tarte uh, Maracuja Miracle palette and some of the other uh, products that they sent me with it. And this is the look. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and let's get started. Hi everybody, it's PJ and today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial. I'm for faces over 50 because that's what I am a face over 50. This is what I look like without makeup on gorgeous look at this face I have all the things that everybody over 50 has like see the old me the new me so um yeah Clinique's redness solution first all over trying to make that work I'm actually going to use uh, the toner. It's um, Neutrogena Pore Refiner Toner on my nose because I don't have big pores everywhere, just like right here. Okay, the next product I put on my skin, I put a lot on prior to makeup because, yeah, because look at this mug. So the next thing is the Retinol Fusion. Um, it's actually the PM Night Serum, but I do put a little bit on during the day, I know. I'm just an excessive girl. You use a couple little drops and it absorbs like right in, you know, like amazing stuff. I think I've really seen a difference in my skin since I started using this, but I use it twice a day. I think I need extra help. Again, I love Peter Thomas Roth's products. I'm just like loving them. And this is Firm, the growth factor. This is a neuropeptide serum. Okay, and again, little tiny bits, like you don't need a lot. And with this stuff, you don't rub it in, like you don't, it's not like a cream. It's like you warm it in your fingers and then press it into your skin where you need it. And I need it everywhere. <laughs> The next product I'm going to use is from Paracomb MD, and it is the Firming Neck Therapy. You just kind of go all over your neck with it. They say in circular motion, so let's just do that. Okay, the next product that we're going to use is the High Potency Eye Lift, again from Paracone MD. And this, you really only need a little bit. Ah! <laughs> it just went all over Thank you, Perico. But anyway, you just need a tiny little bit and you put it right on the lids of your eyes. I also use Peter Thomas Ross Instant Firm Temporary Face Tightener. Now I put this, where do you think? Where do I hate? My neck. This, I use about this much. And this is like a tightener for your skin. It's just very temporary, but actually if you use it right, um, it does kind of tighten it up, but I got a trick for you after this. I'm going to show you how to look so good, but it's a trick. <laughs> okay, so now we're ready to put on some makeup. And the first thing I use is the Stay Matte Rimmel, um, primer in, um, number 91 Light Ivory. And this stuff, I'm running out of it, but I've got to go to the drugstore. But this stuff, um, Yeah. I'm liking this. Uh, it does really good. And again, I just warm it in my fingers because it's very dry if you just like directly put it on your skin. So I warm it in my fingers, kind of warm it up like that. And then I just put it on my trouble zones. Oh, like here. No. Tarte uh, Maracuja Miracle. And I bought this... Um, the palette and this and a couple other products. I'm going to use them today on QVC the other day, uh, a couple weeks ago. And this is a foundation and concealer in one. It's called, it's either called foundation or foundation. I don't remember, but, <laughs> but, um, I use it as just a concealer. It's too much to use as completely a, um, a foundation it is hugely matte and like like I said when you're older matte means wrinkles show up here's the favorite thing out of that whole gift pack that I got it was like a gift bag with all this stuff is this this is the best brush and it came with the Tarte 
um, gift pack. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, I've never... And you know what the crazy part about this gift pack that I bought was? Is that nothing has a name. Like, it just says Maracuja Miracle, but... Like there's no number for the brush, nothing. And I would buy the, I would buy another one of these. The hardest thing I think about people my age is getting the right foundation. And I have not succeeded, but I have a trick. What I do is I take Kat Von D, which I swear by this product. It's the Luck of Tattoo Foundation in 48 Light, okay? And I mix it. And I, I just do a little, I use a mirror as a palette. So I do a little thing like that. I do L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Foundation in uh, 202 Classic Ivory, which is a little darker, which I kind of need. So I put a little dab of each on my palette and I mix them. I'm going to mix that. And I mix those two products as my foundation. And you'll see, it's a much more ivory. It's so much looser because of the blur because like again the Kat Von D foundation which if you're under 50 like that would be my my shenizzle <laughs> for real because that would be my go-to it is um very very good in the way of like it covers everything I use L'Oreal Magic Decrease and this is an eyeshadow primer and I really don't use a lot. Like, but like some stuff makes you more creasy. So you have to be careful. I use two products for contouring. Both are Milani. I use the Milani face powder in chestnut. And I use the Milani even touch powder foundation in warm toffee. And these, like Milani has some products that I really like. All right, so um, this is the lighter of the two. This is the um, Worm Toffee uh, Foundation. And this has a little more ashiness. So I like to use this as, I'm gonna need this mirror now. I like to use this as the lines that are the lines I wanna keep. Okay. Like I don't want these to go anywhere. You know what I mean? So that's what I do. I use this first as the like, the the line of what I'm trying to accomplish. Just drawing that face on. Look at how it works though. Watch. Da -da. Look at how much littler my face gets. I love it. It's a trick. Tricky trick. The Milani face powder that I the chestnut 10. And this is just face powder. This is a foundation to go under and finish the job. See what I mean? So that's what I do. I do my whole neck because that's my hated. I love my neck. I love my body parts, but no, I just don't love them hanging on my chest. This is what we're doing. And we're just gonna blend this in. It's the chart. And this is the palette I got with the foundation concealer. And um, I am dead in love with this right here. That is like the, it's the prettiest blush on, I'll show you. It's like a pinky peach. It's really good for, wow, that was a lot. It's really good for blondes. It really blends in well because it has a little peachiness um, with the contour I use. I put a little everywhere. Oh, make me look like I'm happy. Okay, and then we blend. A blend, a blend, blend. I hope you can see this color. Maybe I should change the lighting. Does that help? That helps. Look at the color of this. I am just loving this color. I like this lighting better. I like this lighting better. We're going with it. But do you see how pretty that color is? Okay, I got this Elsa um, Icicle Face Palette at the drugstore the other day. It's from e.l.f. But these are highlighters. They, they all have like a highlight to them. And I'm loving this one. Also, use it. I know this is going to be crazy. Right on my 
Bravo. And can you see it now? You can see it now because this shit is like so pretty. Really, really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the same palette. This is the Elsa palette from e.l.f. right here. And this is gonna be our transition color in my eyeballs. I'm gonna need the other light now. Sorry, I know I blinded you. But this um, is like a peachy, nudie color. There's really no color to it, but I use it in my crease. Okay, so we're gonna use the Tarte palette this and we're gonna go on this side of it okay and that's like a plum sorry about that wait let me go up that's like a plum and then you have like this kind of iridescent chocolate it's like a it's it's almost got like a heather gray chocolate thing and then that is the pinkish highlighter so we're gonna go right back where I just did with the pink highlighter I'm gonna go right on here even though I just did the highlight yeah I know I'm a redundant person when it comes to this stuff. And I'm also going to go right in the corners right here. Ah, bah, bah. Then we're going to take that middle color. And again, with this, I didn't get any color names. Or if I did, I lost them. Because I'm not a makeup person, I ain't nothing without the tape. Because I'm all about the tape. About the day. Uh, 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 yeah, I'm all about the day. This just gives me a sharper edge and helps me with crazy fallout. I have hooded, I have like hooded eyes because of, um, you know, I'm friggin' old. What do you want from me? So I go about halfway in with that chocolatey, silvery brown color. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. And then I'm actually going to use uh, a little bit on the other side. You'll see there's a peachy color right in here. I'm going to layer that right on my lid up to the first crease. Yeah. So I'm going to use the peach, right? I'm just going to pat it right on the lid to that first crease, if you can see. Just the first crease. How come whenever I do anything like this, I'm like, like a blowfish. Now we're going to take the plummy color, this right here. And because I'm not a makeup artist and I'm not that good, I need one of these brushes to do this. <laughs> okay, and this I'm just going to pack into the outer V right on top of the brownish color. This is definitely more like a purpley, deep plum right over that mocha color um I actually leave like a little bit of the mocha color in the middle like a transition this is actually the brush I got with the Tarte palette and we're just gonna soften all the lines soften the lines concentrate on the bottom lids I have my LA color and this is like a um eye liner and this is like a brown but it's also like a maroon and I'm gonna lay that down first okay and I'm just going to go up and meet the rest of the upper lid. Now we're going back in with the plum, the plum color on the bottom. And we're going to smoke it out. Smoky eye. Yeah, like that. And then we're just going to go blend it in using the same brush. That we blend the top in because it has the same product in it. Which would be the one that came with the gift box. And we'll just smoke that out. Finish off the eyes. And I'm not going to do this. Like everybody knows how to put on mascara, right? <laughs> the mascara I got with the Mark Who's a Miracle um, gift bag from QVC. And I love it because this is like bamboo and this is so pretty. And I'm loving this mascara, but honestly, it doesn't tell me what it is. Like what, I don't know if Tarte has like many brands of mascara. I'm going to write and ask because I really do want to know. But this is fabulous mascara. Okay, on to lips. I'm going to use Reynolds Lasting Finish Lip Liner in, um, this is Cherry Kiss. Okay. 
And I'm going to a little bit overdraw my lips because older people got to do it. You know, you want makeup like a drag queen when you're my age. For real. So we're going to make that bottom lip just a little bigger. A little pouty-outy. I am loving these Kate lipsticks. They are so pretty. It's by Rimmel. It's uh, Kate Moss lipsticks. Rosetta Rage, number 30. Oh, I'm loving it. And I love like a deep berry. How pretty is that? Are you loving it? Isn't that pretty? Okay, the last thing I do is Physician's Formula Nude. Um, naturally Nude. Uh, highlighter. I kind of use that um, at the very end and I just dust it so briefly over anything that was not exposed. I don't, every pressed powder I've ever used is um, cakey, gets cakey, but this doesn't. Okay, first thing you're going to do is go back in and remove the makeup right here by your ear. Next, you're going to separate your hair right here. Next, you're going to separate your hair and put it in a clip. And here's my trick. These are lift tapes. One here. One here, here, and this is what you do when you haven't gotten anything done yet, but you're going to, and you can't wait, and you just want to spend like 20 bucks, and they're right on Amazon, they're lift tapes, I'm going to link them below, guys, you can wear them every day if you want, all it is, is a rubber band. Go back to where it's like a headband. Go to where you parted your hair and drop it. Can't even see it. Do you see this? So much. Nobody. You you can't even notice them with your hair down. That's it guys, little tapes, nobody can see them, and the look is dramatic. Look, without, watch this, with, without, do you see the difference right here? With, without. So that's my little trick, I use them all the time, and uh, yeah, put a little more right over them. You can go right over them with makeup. So much better. Might not be that bad, but for me, I don't like that. So, that's the look, guys. Gotta do my hair now, but that's another video. Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you liked the look. Um, if you'd like to follow me down the rabbit hole that is my life, uh, hit the button, subscribe. I love you guys. All you have to do is believe it, know it, and you can get it. Manifest something great in your life. I'll talk.